Today we are hiking North and South Twin in the Twin Range of New Hampshire. It's 4.3 the North Twin according to this sign. Then maybe another one and a quarter, one and a half to South Twin. If we make it, this will be number 40 and 41 on the 4,000 footers list for me. Let's do the it. The trail's starting out pretty easy. Although, once we get to the third water crossing and the steep sections after that, that'll all change. Yep, there are three crossings to the Little River on this trail. However, the first two are easily bypassed via herd path. So there's only one each way that we really have to worry about. The third one, according to the WMG, that's the easiest. We have a neat little bridge water crossing right here. Tributary of the Little River. Onward we go. All right, we are now on the herd path that goes around the first crossing of the Little River. Can't even tell it's a herd path. Looks more like an actual trail. Heck, maybe DFS should make this part of the official North Twin Trail. I don't know if they'll actually do that though. It would be nice if they did. Man. This is a pretty good herd path. It's a little river right there. You can see why it would be difficult in high water. It is like a real right, trail. Alright, I do believe this is the second crossing of the little river. Let this is see blue over there. Over there is the herd path that we took to bypass those two crossings. So far, success. Now we have one more crossing to go at 1.9 miles. Then, from there it's just up. Up, up, up. Let's do it. Oh, man, can't believe how flat this section of the trail is. It's gonna be an easy walk out, that's for sure. A series of wooden steps over here. Very nice. That's an odd area of grass. Almost looks like an old campsite that grew over. Weird. Apparently this is what we got across. There's a hiker sign over there. I don't know if you can see it. But over there is where you want to be. So I'm going to do my thing and then I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, I think I'm going to have to get my feet wet a little bit. So, thinking I take off my boots and wade across. I'll meet you at the other side. We made it across. And the hike to the summit of North Twin Mountain is already almost halfway over. Another 2.4 miles, I believe. It's not an easy 2.4 miles, though. I know, near the Ridgecrest, there's a section that's quite steep. Let's just see what the rest of this hike brings us. Ah uh, yes, we have some running water alongside the trail. Seems to be a recurring thing in my 4K hikes. Got a little oh, mini go. crossing right here. Probably flows into the little river. Yeah. Coming into a somewhat steep section. Man. Can't believe how humid it is. It's making this hike a hell of a lot more difficult. And I'm sweating a lot more. Let's. Let's do this. We can do it. I've come this far to, and I won't give up. So far, still going up, up, up. 
community ain't helping either. I'm actually thinking about uh, just bagging North Twin and calling it a day and hiking South Twin from Gale River Road at a later date. If it wasn't so human, I'd do both. But, man, I'll let you know when I get to the top, man. Despite the humidity and the grade, this is a really nice path I'm walking on. Nice smells, nice woods. Overall, not too bad. Hmm, I wonder if this is the steep part, man, it's not mine. If it is, then we should be less than a mile from the top. Let's hope so. This area looks promising. And if there are no trees, this would be an awesome view. So, so you can take a breather a little farther up, then I'll meet you farther up the trail. All right, I think this may be the steep section mentioned in the uh, White Mountain Guide and other websites. It's gotta be. This trail is still rather steep. Good news is, should be getting somewhere close to the top. On did we go. All right, I think the steep part's over. So they should be making the final push to the top. Until then, I'll meet you farther down the trail. Well, I think I just encountered a full summit because there's a opening in the trees a little while back. Now it's closed up again. So still have a little bit more to go. All right, we've reached our first real good viewpoint of the trek. And yet another false summit. Real summit's up there. And the summit of South Twin is up there. Still debating as to whether or not I'm gonna head there. Good view though. A little cloudy, but good. All right, we've reached the outlook on North Twin Mountain. We basically summited it. I think I'll go back to the summit area after this. Elevations approximately 4,750 feet, I believe. This is 4,000 footer number 40 for me on the Bancher list. Over there you got South Twin, which I think I'm gonna go to. It's only 1.3 miles. Especially considering it only took me uh, two hours, pretty much two hours flat to get here from Haystack Road. I think I'm gonna do it. Down there is the Gilhead High Mountain, Gilhead Mountain. Look the Garfield Ridge. Got Mount Garfield right there. Now Liberty and the Little Owl's Head. Scar Ridge and the Osceola's. I think behind there. Maybe Mount Gio or Mount Vaughn, I'm not entirely sure. Still a good view either way. All right, 1.3 miles to the Twin Way and South Twin Mountain. Gonna attempt number 41 on the New Hampshire 4,000 footers list. Hopefully this uh, North Twin Spur doesn't have any steep parts like the uh, uh, North Twin Trail. Cause I gotta go up and down twice. Let's hope. So far, the North Twin Trail, uh, North Twin Spur, generally isn't that bad. I mean, there's one scramble so far. Uh, otherwise, it's been pretty mellow. I'll just have to see how it is once you start to climb up the South Twin. All right, I believe you're in the coal between North and South Twin, which means we should be starting the uh, climb up to the summit of South Twin. 
pretty much right about now. I'll meet you further up the trail. Man, this section of the North Twin Spur going up South Twin is actually rather mellow. And wait a minute. I think I see it up there. The summit that is. So we're getting close. Can we bad number 41? Let's see. That is our destination right up there. South Twin Mountain. In the meantime, we have yet another excellent view. I believe that's just where he came from. North Twin. And we'll meet you on the summit we of South Twin. It. We are standing on the summit of South Twin Mountain, elevation 4,902 feet, the highest point in the Twin Range of New Hampshire. Twin Ridge Trail goes two miles that way to the Vaughn Cliff Trail and 6.2 6 to the Zealand Hut, but we're not going that way. Oh no. Nor are we going this way to the Garfield Ridge Trail and the Galehead Hut. Oh no. We're gonna take a breather here and then go back the way we came over. That mountain right there, North Twin. Man, what an awesome view and an awesome day. Trails are pretty wet and muddy, but the awesome day makes up for it. The humidity isn't really even bothering me anymore. There's only really a pain in the neck about halfway up uh, North Twin. Boy, am I glad I chose this hike. Got Mount Garfield over there, the Franconia Ridge over there. Flum and Liberty. Right there is Owl's Head. Somewhere out there, Gio and the Bonds. Out there is uh, Mount Kerrigan, Vaux Spur, Kerrigan Notch, Mount Anderson, and Lowell. Out there you have the presidential range. Just awesome. Well, we are back at the trailhead. Overall, I have to say this is a pretty cool hike. The uh, trail conditions weren't the best. Out there actually kind of sloppy, but that can't be helped, especially when you've had rain the night before. But the views and scenery, the excellent views and scenery more than made up for it. In fact, the uh, tricky brook crossing that I mentioned earlier in the video, the third one, I ended up wading across it, which is actually kind of refreshing. So overall, a good day. And 4,000 footers number 40 and 41 are down. So from the North Twin Trailhead and North and South Twin Mountain, see you on my next adventure.